So guys, this is my weekly report for July 11th. Um, give you a little idea what I've been doing right now. I'm out here varmint hunting. Um, been shooting at coyotes and um, uh, cottontail season open. I had my grandson out here the other day and he killed a limit of cottontail. You know, shooting this FX. These are these PCP air guns, you know, that I do a lot of hunting with. But anyway, um, I was up at Union Valley and um, it was slow in the morning. They bit really good. We hooked like 10, but I had my grandkids with me and they put three in the boat. One was 16, the other was 15, the other was 14. They're nice sized fish, but I wasn't grafting a whole lot. So, you know, I don't know if they were just glued to the bottom or what. Then I went to Bullard's. I've been there uh, end of last week on Friday, the week of the 4th, and it was a nightmare with boats. But we caught a lot of fish. And then I went um, yesterday and we had um, 40 fish, four limits by 11 o'clock and probably lost that many because I had some these rookies with me. But it's good fishing. The fish are a little bigger this year. They're maybe like 10 to 12 inch. I think the biggest one we had was 13 inch, but they're nice um, bright red meat fish and the coconut fishing has been pretty good. So if you really want to get in some bigger kokanee, I would probably head up to New Malonis. Um, they're getting some big ones this year, you know, I'm in that 20 inch range. Um, if you go to party open back up, which is good, I'm going to probably head there um, probably in the next day or two, I'm going to head up there and um, stampede red hot but the fish are a little bit smaller um, whiskey town has some good fish um, i would definitely make a trip up there but it's just a long drive it's two and a half hours and you know on a one day trip that's kind of far so i've been sticking around here so other than that what's going on right now is and the weather permits you know guys are getting out chasing the bluefin tuna with the mad maxes um, I heard moss landing. There was boats going out of there and they were hooking up some fish. It's just been so rough that, you know, guys can't get out of here at Bodega and they're all biting at the bit. So, you know, hopefully with this big heat wave we're having, it should calm down a little bit. Outside the gate and inside, halibut fishing. It busted wide open on the north bar and the south bar and even heading toward Pacifica. They're smashing them halibuts. A friend of mine was out there yesterday. Um, and he, they had fish, you know, in that 10 to 18 pound range. Um, they caught some nice fish and they're fishing in about 30 feet of water just along the coast on the beach. Not a lot of stripers. Um, I think if you had the right tides inside the bay, they're still getting them. And they're also catching halibut inside, but they're a little bit smaller grade. You know, you might get them 22 inches, 24 inches, but if you want to get big ones, you got to get outside the gate and, you know, the weather the last couple of days has been um, pretty decent and uh, the fishing has been real good. So the stripers um, in the Delta, you know, if you got that fast moving water on the rock piles, um, Southampton over there, I mean, you just have to look around Treasure Island and, you know, when you find that school, you can get them, but they haven't been real big. Um, there's some days when, uh, I know Cal Don had some fish that were averaging 8 to 15 pounds, and I know Lopes has been catching them. But, you know, you just have to look around. Further in, the stripers, um, I haven't been in like two weeks, but I have friends that were out there the other day out in Rio Vista. They caught some fish. They're in that maybe 5 to 7 pound range, but they had a lot of action. So you just have to move around and find them. So I imagine you can troll and catch them. Uh, and you know, maybe up north, I haven't, like I said, I haven't been, but my friends have been going and they've been catching fish, you know, from keeper size up to seven pounds. And the bass bite, the bass bite in the Delta has been really good. It's getting really hot. Um, I would, in the morning now, I would probably throw chatter baits, top water. And then after that, I'd get my flipping and punching stick out. You know, it's that time of the year and also frogs. Um, you know, with all this hot weather, it usually puts them fish under the mats because it's a little bit cooler. And w there's two ways of getting them. One is with a frog and one is with uh, punching them. You have um, Future Pro Frog Tournament coming up. And I think there's a couple 
um, frog tournaments coming up. I think um, tournament frogs. There's a couple frog tournaments coming up real quick here in the next couple of weeks. So you know, if you're on some fish, you might want to sign up and and fish those uh, frog tournaments. So other than that, Don Paganelli, um, he's been up at Berryessa. He sent me some photos of his clients catching um, fish, largemouth bass, two to three pounders. I was surprised they were all largemouth and they're catching them out on the main body on points on top water. So I imagine that top water bite is good for maybe a couple hours in the morning. And then after that, you might as well put on a drop shot or a little kai tech and start casting. But I know the fishing's been good. I'm sure you can catch bass, you know, anywhere you go. Um, it's just at that time of the year. The water temperatures are getting really hot. I was at Bullard's yesterday. It was 87 degrees. I was at Berryessa, 87 degrees. And the surface temperature, temperature, you know, pretty warm. And most of the kokanee and um, trout and stuff are down in that 50 to 70 foot range. So I know that warm water temperature is pushing them fish down a little bit deeper where it's a little cooler. So, you know, using my graft, I graft around and um, check the depth of the fish. And I know where they're at and I pretty much figure that's where the water temperature is probably a little bit cooler. So they're more comfortable. Trout fishing's kind of coming to a halt here because the temperatures are getting so hot. I'm sure you could put your, put your downriggers down there and go down in that probably 35 to 60 feet of range and troll and catch them. Um, none of the lakes are stocking anymore. I'm sure you could go up to Party, you could go to Malonis. Um, Stampede, you could probably um, catch, catch them up there. If you're trolling and you're catching, you're fishing for coking and you keep catching trout, you have to fish a little bit deeper because uh, the trout are higher, the kokanee, and then the, king, the landlocked kings are a little bit deeper. Um, when I was at Berryessa last week, I caught kings down at 70 feet trolling for kokanee. So, you know, they are, they are hitting the kokanee hoochie with the, with the corn on it. So basically, I haven't heard too much about crappie fishing. I imagine they're probably down pretty deep. Um, I did some videos on perch fishing, you know, bluegill. And I'm sure you could get them in the delta right now. And they're probably in like 10 to 15 feet. And in the lakes, I would probably be fishing down to that 30 to 40 feet. And um, see what else is going on. Um, I know the rock fishing is off the hook. Um, I had some friends go out to Bodega last week when the um, weather permitted and didn't take them long. There was four guys, nine o'clock, they already headed back in. They had a nice uh, grade of fish. So the rock fishing is really good. And I'm sure, you know, you guys that surf fish could go out there and walk the banks of those sandy areas and and catch perch right now. So, you know, as weather permitting, it's been able to get out and do those things out in the ocean because rock fishing is open. I know a lot of kayaker guys are going after them and, you know, pretty pretty much you could about pretty go anywhere and, and do some fishing and catch fish. So if you guys are in your vehicle Saturday morning, heading out to the water at 6.30, you can tune in to uh, California Sportsman's and uh, ultimate bass um, i'm usually in the studio the first saturday every month and then i'm on the radio calling in but i'm on at 6 40. Um, once in a while i'm on uh, kent brown with kent on ultimate bass you know just talking what's going on in the area and if you guys have any um, problems with your motors and you need a tune up or you need something done on your boat go to gone fishing you know those guys are sponsor me you know they put me in that duckworth and um if you call him and tell him that i sent you over there he'll probably give you a little deal so basically you know it's time to get out there and go fishing it's really hot make sure you guys stay hydrated drink a lot of water or gatorade or something like that so you don't get dizzy a friend of mine was out with me the other day and it was pretty warm and roger got sicker than a dog and it's probably because he didn't drink anything so it's when you're out there in this hot weather, you know, stay hydrated, drink a lot of water. So anyway, you know, if you like the video, hit that like. Um, please subscribe. It'll help me. I'm a little over 12,000 now. And um, if you got any comments, just leave it. And, you know, I'll get back to you in a couple of days.
So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.